it is summertime, and if you and the kids are looking for something fun to do, maybe some educational opportunities when it comes to animals, the Cougar Mountain Zoo in Issaquah, I have to tell you, is a great place to go. Jared Munzer is the director of the zoo. Lisa Land is the head bird curator. Thanks for being with us here this morning for our first bird segment ever on King 5 Mornings. First of all, Lisa, give us an idea of our friends here. Who do we got? We have Mr. Pickles and Juanita. Little Rio and Pata, and we have a special surprise over there too okay. as well. What kind of a bird is this? Juanita is a blue-throated macaw. It's a critically endangered species, mm. and she's just a baby. She is uh, nine months old, and she was hatched at the zoo. Wow, and a critical endangered species right here in front of us. This is amazing. Um, give us an idea of what you might do at this at the at the zoo when it comes to shows, Jared and Lisa. I understand you have some kind of a demonstration we can do. So, here. so all day throughout the day um, we have a variety of educational programming that happens with all of the different species but one of the things that's a lot of fun is our bird show that we do each day uh, so we do a different a uh, bunch of different husbandry behaviors some fun different behaviors you might see a bird riding a scooter going down a slide all right things like that things you wouldn't always see but it also lets you see the kind of bond that the trainers and the keepers have with the animals right and of all the zoos this is one of the more intimate experiences I've seen too at Cougar Mountain all right let's put these birds to the test I, I understand there's something you want to show us oh. right so one of the things that people always think of when they think of these macaws is they think you know, maybe they might make a great pet. Well, they don't make pets for a lot of reasons. Lisa can fill you in on some All of right, those. They're pretty loud. Uh -huh. They live 50 to 60 years, and they can bite really hard. And I'd like to demonstrate how hard they can bite. I'm going to give you a walnut. Me? Okay. Yeah, you, you can. How many fingers do you have right now? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I've got 10. Five on each hand still. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'm going to give a walnut to Mr. Pickles over here as well. All right. Mr. Pickles, you want a walnut? Oh, Mr. Pickles seems like he's a little camera Mr. shy Pickles. here. Mr. Pickles, he already Mr. had breakfast. Mr. Pickles, yeah, I, I think he's a little camera shy today. No worries, buddy. <laughs> Want me to hold it like this? Would that help? Yeah, let me let me step around behind okay, you. Okay, yeah, please do. What do you do. think, Mr. Pickles? <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hi. Are you nervous? Are you nervous about this? Do you want a Do you want a cracker? Right. Yeah. All right, now go All right, ahead and now squeeze you that can, walnut. You can squeeze that and see if you can open it with your fingers there. Oh, Mr. Pickles is working on it too. Oh, you know what? Wow. He is done. You guys, I'm pushing this with both of my hands. And that's the strength of his jaw. He is wow. very powerful. That's incredible. Very powerful. Mr. Pickles is a great this. green macaw. He is uh, also an endangered species. And you're native to South America and Central America. Wow, it's a beautiful bird, Jared. That's incredible. What do you have here? So this is little Rio. She is an Amazon parrot. And actually, all macaws are parrots, but not all parrots are macaws. And one of the, there's a couple key differences between the parrots and macaws. If you look at Rio, you see on her face, she's got all those really pretty yellow feathers all the way around her eyes, all on her cheeks. Very talkative. Oh, yeah, she's, <laughs> she's got a lot to and say. this is a... And if you look at Pata, who is a green wing macaw, um, you'll see that she doesn't have all those feathers on her face. She's got that bare skin. Oh, yeah. So all macaws have that bare skin on their cheek. And also, if you look at the tails, like if you look at... Mr. Pickle's tail over there. Real long, beautiful, flowy tail. And then um, little Rio, because she's a parrot and Gorgeous. not a macaw, she's got a shorter tail. You had one surprise you wanted to show us. They're giving us about 30 seconds yep. or so, Jared. So we what can have we do? Over here, a very special guy. This is Orion, a laughing kookaburra. Okay, bye bye, Bertie. <laughs> <laughs> and Lisa, Lisa will tell you all about him. Yes, wow, Lisa. Orion you... is a laughing kookaburra native to Australia. And he is uh, very talkative, so I'd like to show you how Please he do. can talk. Please do. Please <laughs> do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the most beautiful laugh I've ever heard. Wow, and it's so loud and startling. Very cool. So anyone can go to the zoo and check out these birds, right? Uh, kids and moms yep. and dads alike. Definitely. Yep. So you can Love see it. the birds and all the other animals that are there at the zoo. We have different educational programs outside of the mini lectures we do all day. Uh, you can even have some encounters with some of the different animals. It's very cool. Um, so it's a really great opportunity to bring the kids out. All right. And learn Jared. something over the summer. Thank you, Jared. Thank you, ladies. Thank yes, you. thanks to our new friends. Back right